we're going to go ahead and go over how to download and install Luenmark's Lightroom presets. If you downloaded from Etsy, you're going to want to open up Etsy in your Chrome or Safari browser, click on your icon, scroll down to purchases and reviews, navigate to your purchase, download the DNG file with the preset and the PDF. If you need this emailed or sent to you in a Dropbox link because you're having any issues downloading from Etsy, send me a conversation and let me know. I went ahead and sent myself the DNG file. So I'm gonna open up my email, click on my Bright Pastel DNG file. I'm gonna go and click on that to save, click on the square. Go ahead and open that to Lightroom Mobile. Automatically open up in Lightroom Mobile. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click the back button, click the back arrow again. I'm gonna create a new folder to keep my presets organized. I'm gonna name mine presets. So I'm going to go back to all photos, click on the bright pastel DNG, go ahead and click move to, click on the album you want to move it to. Now you can go see that it's going to be in there. I'm going to go ahead and download the other two mobile preset DNG files I sent myself. I'm going to go ahead and open that to Lightroom Mobile. Export it to Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and move that over to my presets folder again. I'm going to download the blogger preset. My blogger preset, Bright Pastel, and Muted Tones are my three most used presets that I use to edit my Instagram photos that I take off of my phone. So those are the ones I'm going to be downloading and installing and going over. I'm going to click on the preset you want to use. Click on the three dots in the right corner. Click Copy Settings. Click OK. I'm going to go hit the back arrow, hit the back arrow again, go to All Photos. Click on the image you're going to want to be editing. Go ahead and click on the three dots. Click Paste Settings. You can see the before and after with our Bright Pastel Mobile preset. You will need to do a little tweaking for exposure and white balance to get each mobile preset to the liking and uh, to suit how you shot your image and the lighting and um, the coloring. You can see that before and after. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my presets. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the muted tones. I'm gonna click on the three dots, copy settings, okay. I'm gonna hit the back arrow, back arrow, go back into all photos, click on another image I'd like to edit, click on the three dots and click paste settings. You can see the before and after with our muted tones mobile preset. I'm gonna go ahead and go back, click on another image, and I'm just gonna paste that again. Since I'm pasting the same preset, I don't have to go back and copy it. So this is another before and after with our muted tones. I'm going to open up another image, paste that same muted tones preset on it. You can see the before and after. If you want to reset your image, go ahead and scroll all the way down, click reset, and then click all to get all the settings from that preset off. I'm going to open up the blogger, copy the settings. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the album, open up the image I want to edit. I'm going to go ahead and paste those settings. I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking on this um, with our white balance and exposure. So white balance will be under color. I'm going to tweak that to be a little cooler or a little warmer depending on your images. Exposure will be under your light tab. You can also make minor adjustments to the contrast, the shadows, and highlights. Just quick little things to get that perfect for your image. A little saturation. I'm going to open up another image. I'm going to go ahead and paste that blogger preset. On this one, I'm going to add a little grain. I like my images to look a little bit gritty and grainy, almost film-like. So go ahead and go to the effects, and I'm going to up the grain and the size and the roughness to make this a little more gritty. You can see the before and after. I absolutely love that mobile preset with some grain. Click the square uh, with the arrow if you want to save this to your camera roll so then you can upload it to social media or whatever you're going to be doing with your image. It can just take a minute um, for that to, to save. I save it at the full resolution, the largest um, size available. All right, and that is pretty much it. It's really easy to use and utilize these once you go through it once. It's super easy to continue to edit and upload um, other mobile presets. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message. We're always happy to help.